what's up guys Aaron Productions here and today we are going to be doing another system test um so first of all uh let's see if we can zoom in on the screen so it's just after Halloween is the day I'm filming this obviously November 1st and there's been um two changes I believe oh no three well, first of all, you've seen this door closure in my last video. I mean, this door holder. Well, there's a door closure on it uh, right here. But you'll see that be closing in this video. And I also have a simplex key-operated pull station I got today. And apparently because of the stocks on the back, because this was addressable, um, it won't fit on my back box extender. But I will be getting um, probably simplex back boxes soon um, when I get my new system um, so I've removed the speaker strobe in here and then the strobe wire goes up and up to a ceiling where I have my Gentex Commander 3 strobe that I just got today I also got another Gentex Commander 3 um, and a Gentex Commander 4 but apparent but I wanted to have it silent but apparently when I have it on sync, even if it's on the strobe wires only, apparently wants to do um, uh, horn strobe. So I'll probably have that up in the next test. Um, so there's not much to show. 270 SPO here. Obviously I have to show the alarms. Sorry, there's like wires and stuff everywhere because yesterday was Halloween. And uh, I obviously made the video for that. 4250 Uh, why did I skip the Charity Chevron? And then downstairs is still the, um, Simplex 2099-9757 or whatever. It's not 9756. It's a dual action, though. And then there's the Sentry. Now, for the alarms today, we have something special. It is, um, for my school system. So, the reason that... Not only the reason um, that it's mounted sideways, one, because I couldn't get on the back box, and two is because um, what stood out to me is one of these is actually mounted like this at my school, so it actually has some significance being sideways. Obviously, it does not affect the operation because it's just a horn, and it's, it's kind of slanted anyway. Um, here we have the... Um, System sensor show. I'm supposed to be getting a lot of system sensor devices, which we'll see in another test. I think it's two strobes and two horn strobes, and then outdoor strobe, strobe which you'll be seeing outside, obviously. Um, but this is probably the last time you'll see the outdoor strobe, the Amsico one, because um, it's getting winter and I can't have the window open. Now in the hallway, no, I'm not lazy, but I had to keep this up here because there's also a spectral alert advance in my school. And it just looks, I mean, like, the sound mixed with the, um, horn over there is, um, kind of what it sounds like when I walk down the stairs, because it's basically in the stairway. Sorry, I didn't turn the light on, and there's only one light in here. But, um, there's the pull station. And for the alarm today, we have the Gentex GX90. So, let's go ahead and make my little announcement, and then we'll pull the post station down here. And, um, oh, I put it in my right pocket, so hold on a second. There we go. So, I'm going to put this camera on speaker right here. Well, I can't really, like, set it up, so I'm just going to put it down here. May I have your attention, please? We are testing the life safety system. In the building, please disregard all fire alarm signals you may hear until further notice. Thank you. So guys, I put the keys in the panel just so that we can silence it quickly because I don't want to leave it on for too long. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll reset it from the annunciator once we get upstairs. I mean, after I reset the pool station, so it's probably the last time you'll see the panel today. 
uh, I'll be like test carbon monoxide to detector next time. Okay. So three, two. Oh, I have it on pre-signal, by the way. So you can hear the alarm. Okay, let's turn this off. That horn is really loud. We can still hear the, uh, what should we call it, upstairs. Shouldn't have turned that light off because I have to go back over here. I guess you can still see it. Upside down. Okay. I think the strobe's. Oh, wait, no. The strobe isn't going off outside. I have it off. Okay, so let's go down here and activate the strobe in here. So I'm going to turn the lights off for this test. Let me get the keys out of the thing. Okay. Actually, I might have to leave one light on so you guys can see. Turn this one off. Okay. So this key operated only. So um, it actually, hold on. it actually has um, a T-bar in it, but they just cover it off. So three, two, one, and the doors drop. Can't get there. There we go. audible silence obviously this over here is it silenced I'm not sure if it does pre actually it will do pre signal so with the strobes going currently let's pull this Okay, so let's um, just open this door, I guess. So let's test what smoke detector, which smoke detector. Uh, yeah, I haven't done one in my room for a while, so. Actually, I might have done this one. Well, I've done it in my whole system test, whole house. Okay, there we go. Door shuts on me. One goes off. I like free signals. Ah, oh, crap. I think this allows you to signal silence before. Oh wait, 
Yeah, I didn't blow out the smoke detector. Yeah, see? So, ah. I thought you could uh, silence it before. I thought you could silence it before you could um, reset. But, yeah. I'll just let that air out for a second more. Okay. So guys, that's going to conclude this system test. I hope you guys enjoyed some of those changes. And peace out.